hey, this is a long, this is a, this is a long time we was here. Uh, so it's been a while since we've been here, huh, y'all? <laughs> What's going on? I'm MC Shaky, MC Shaky Live. In case y'all didn't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm at my mom's. I'm just staying here tonight. Uh. Tomorrow's the big day of football, so everybody's coming over and we're doing a little football stuff. We do, football, we're a big football family. Y'all can't hear me at all? Can you hear me? You can hear me? Oh, my goodness. How about now? Can you hear me now? I got to put this on something because I, I can't hold it up. But y'all got to be able to hear me. All right, let's try this. How about that? Y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me now? Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me now? Like old times. Yeah, y'all remember y'all remember this this little setup, girl. It's been <laughs> the little thing in the back. Um, thank you, Token. All right, so um, this is the Hot Nine Nine. We'll call this the Hot Nine Nine Express because I'm over here uh, for the weekend. You know, said it's kind of like my day off, and so I just decided oh, oh, I miss my mama, and so I decided to come. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be here the pretty much the whole weekend. So um, yeah, I just I just can't. <laughs> I love it. It's the, I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. I don't have to do nothing. I can just sit here and lounge around. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, um, yeah, this is memories. This is this is a, this is OG sip, sip nation right here. This is OG sip nation. So I didn't. I don't have. So I can't do a full hot nine and nine, which I don't know because I don't have my props. I don't have the sound effects. I don't have nothing but so my computer, of course, is at my house. But uh, so I have my laptop. And I have a phone, and I have my bonnet, which is available at SipCosmetics.net. I have my trusty fan, and so, well, why not do what we call a Hot 99 Express? Flashback Friday edition. I might top it off after the Hot 99 with a little story. So, I'm going to put it on YouTube. So, um, if you don't, please like subscribe and share if you're on youtube um if you on instagram we're here so um what else i do have church announcement um i forget them um you know go ahead and follow us everywhere it's mc shake it live mc s-h-a-k-i-e-l-i-v-e on everything on all social media platforms twitter facebook snapchat all that good stuff like that all right now i don't know what topics i'm gonna do i just decided to do it just like just just now Literally just not. I literally said, you know what? I'm being petty. I wasn't being petty. I, so the, I just posted something. It wasn't really too bad. People, you know, I, I, it was me really being poking fun. But this is what I posted. And I said, well, people up, oh, what they doing? And I said, you know what? Let me just do a hot 99 express. I posted at this part. I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that Lou shot Meg in the foot. At least with my theory, we can hear Super say, with what gun, Lewis? Okay. This is the hot 99. This is the Hot 99 Express, amazing my. I just explained that. I wish you could rewind it like you could YouTube, but you can't. It's, it's the Hot 99 Express. We over here, Hot 99 is on my page. So, with that being said, that'll be our first story. So, okay, Tory Lanez yesterday, of course, just promised the world he was going to give us the nastiest old... Um, this nasty old... Break down of what happened. Had everybody tuned in, trying to see what we, trying to see what was going on. That's what Tory Lanez did yesterday. Y'all, y'all don't remember. I was like myself, um, to see what was going on. To see. So okay. So Tory Lanez comes online and just basically says, "Look, I ain't shot him, but I'm dropping the album." What? So, okay. Before we get into whether he shot her or not, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I didn't say the album wasn't fire. I'm just saying. I'm not saying the album not fire. I'm not saying the album not good. Triple A made some good music. But. 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 We was not. Like, okay, yeah, we're going to get your music anyway. Nobody said the album wasn't dope. I'm just saying, like, we want to know some details. We want to get the deets, baby. 
All right, so he dropped 17 songs on Apple. I, I felt when he was playing our face, I felt we got zoomed. <laughs> that was actually nice. And I told the side, don't maybe I had the way of speaking his part, folks. Told her that he was from trying to make money off the situation. He did. Now, okay, speaking of the money part, he did say that he's donating to um, the Breonna Taylor Foundation. So maybe, see, I. <sighs> He gave some details. Alright, so y'all say the album fire. So what y'all gonna take him wait, hold up, hold up. Y'all gonna take him you know, I wanted an expose. I wanted the full everything. I don't wanna have to listen to the song and try to figure out what you talking about here and the slangs you throwing. Baby tell me what's going on. Look, <laughs> you know me. I wanna know. Then it was the okay, and it was the situation with the best friend, and it was like, oh my god, all kind of stuff. So at this point, I have no clue. I thought I felt like I knew. What happened with Meg? But and and the whole Tory Lanez. Uh, if y'all listen to the songs and read the lyrics, he's pretty much saying he shot. She shot herself. So okay, now K. Baby the Great. I don't want to have to do that. I don't have to. If I read the music and his, what happened, little brother? Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to do all that. I just don't feel like I didn't listen to the whole album. I listened to the song or two. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm not feeling. Sit down and be like, oh, he said the word, okay, the uh huh, and put it to two plus two. Now, I'm a good, now I could, now if I want to dissect all that, I would, but girl, ain't nobody's happening. What we'll happened? Because let me say something. True story lanes, you have been canceled already, but also, too, you know, like we just, I'm just tired of this situation, you know? He only doing half the money, and he only said that so people can buy the album. I purchased the album as fire. There are more inconsistencies on Meg's side, honestly. I'm not going to decode the mess either. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the decode. Like, you got to decode all this and subtract and minus. I'm not going to do all this. What happened? Man, that's half of that. Look, you shot Munchkin. That is literally a poodle having sex with a Rottweiler, and I don't like it. I don't like how her friend said the bullet came from him, but that doesn't mean he shot you. No, it don't. It really don't. Why would she shoot herself? I'm not finna decode. I'm not finna do all that. Tory Lanez is not welcome in Houston. And he will get popped out here. Oh, child. I'm glad I had Tory Lanez. I got booked in Houston on the ninth. <laughs> I'm so glad I ain't him. Houston don't play, girl. They don't play, girl. I've been in Houston. They're, so, you know, I have a strip crew. I'm, I'm I'm holding up on doing a show for them because in New Orleans we're still in faith. Um, nonetheless, you know they took me some, to some of the hood parts of Houston, and, and you know it's it's real hood, it's real life hood. Y'all got y'all pixie juices, lame as. Oh come on, he said how she got shot, but the bullets hit no bones or tendons. They matched the bullets to his gun. I thought. Where Houston are coming, I'm gonna be at the Dakin shop, and I got a part on the 10th as well, so I got two days back to back in Houston. I still feel like there were grades not shot, and you know, people are doing it there for attention. So, let's okay. So, would, would, so okay, would Meg really shoot herself to prove a perk to Tory Lanez? Is that plausible? Think about that. Would Meg the Stallion. And this is, I mean, has she done, she hadn't done what yet, right? So she she probably done it, but it hadn't come out. All right. So, she, okay. So, Made the Stallion coming off of the Beyonce song. She had did drop another song, and it was kind of like, uh, the, um, uh, uh, and I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, 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 that one. She had dropped that song, which was okay. It wasn't none of her big, big hits. But she did the Beyonce, the, she did the, the uh, Savage remix to Beyonce. Savage was a humongous hit. Then you had that other song that was okay. So you were coming into WAP, right? Hmm. Hmm. So WAP came out after the the way the foot looked. She was definitely hit from the back. I think it was an accident. She shot herself. They were past intoxicated that night. Am I the only one that noticed that when May did a live and they were in the pool with the Kardashian chick, she already looked annoyed by him? He came, he'd been crushing Kylie and didn't know she was going to trip like that. If you really thought her bestie was going to ride for her, you're mistaken. Think about it. 90% of people who knew you before fame not going to be happy. 
for you, not even family. Oh, wow. Speaking of wow, I wonder how much Candy got paid to be in that terrible promo. I don't know, but it's... I've talked to a source close to the to them, and it was... It, you have to pay Candy. Like, she's not the type of girl. Candy's a girl about her coin dollars. And it's like, you really had to come off a pretty pinty for Candy. So... She said that he shot her in both her feet, but only showed one foot that looked great. What? What? Let's see what Rick Ross is talking about with all this. Okay, so apparently, according to um, so Rick Ross, what did Rick Ross say about this? There was a, uh, where is the post? I just had it up. I don't know. Rick Ross on Tory uh, Okay. So, he called out Tory Lane saying it was, according to our friends over at Complex, uh, Rick Ross, Tory Lane's, okay, I respect you too much for this black man to disrespect you in these times. And that's Tory Lane's response. What was Rick Ross' first comment? Or Rick Ross responds to it. Let's hear it. First off, little boy, I appreciate how you responded swiftly to Rose, but that's how you should have did the sister that accused you of shooting her. That's what you owed her family. That's what you owed all the black women in the world. Just that accusation alone. She was in your presence, but that's between y'all. But more importantly, let's get to you um, protesting. You ain't protesting Miami. Only reason you was out there is because your condo that you stay in, $1,500 a month. The damn protest was coming right down there. So you went down and took a, a photo op. That's cool. Let's don't insinuate that. Go out your way for the sisters. Poor Decisions is putting together an album and trying to profit off some shit people like myself was to hear you address this shit and move on. Not get a whack song or a whack album that ain't gonna get you no money, no no new supporters. So little boy, boss up. Okay. Tory Lanez, poor decision, brother. Dropping that project. Just out of respect for Breonna Taylor. Just out of respect for Breonna Taylor, brother. We gotta respect these sisters. That ain't how you address the accusations you Okay, not real talk. That was a poor choice, homie. You ain't getting no money with that shit. Hey, I just bought a car for Tory Lanez. Now you being paid it off. I got a gift for your album release, homie. Girl. That's you. I hate Rose. Oh, so, so. Okay, so look. All right, so this <laughs> let me let me show y'all. Fair use audio commentary. Oh crap! <laughs> All right, so it's just not letting me do it. Is it gonna? Why is it not? First off, little boy, I appreciate how. You That's not all. So I should have started right here. I should have started backwards at first. Thank you, academics, for doing the band. Hey, I just bought a car for Tory Lanez. I got a gift for your album release, homie. With the sister, that was a poor choice, homie. You ain't getting no money with that shit. Basin. Tory Lanez, poor decision, brother. Dropping that project just out of respect for Breonna Taylor. All right. So, Tory Lanez responds, I respect you too much as a black man to disrespect you in these times. However, I went out and marched nine days straight for Breonna Taylor in your city. In Cat All Cats, I didn't see the boss out there once. Also, Stop taking your endorsements in a post about her. It's a poor decision with Ross. Okay, so listen. Okay. <laughs> You're only using the moment to promote the stupid. Okay. Alright. So. I get it. I get it. You know, okay. So, alright. I get it. I get it. Let me see why I get it. 
and I'm gonna see what I get. And then and Sip Nation is on y'all. We gonna we gonna we we gonna we gonna let y'all see who y'all wanna cancel and all this. Uh, but I will say this. Um, and, and just 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 from two sides of the thing. Now, Rick Ross, you have a perm, and I believe that's a perm. I don't, you know, Tori. I don't know what happened. I really don't at this point. You say one thing, she said another thing. Uh, the best friend said another thing. Uh, Lou said something else. Everybody's saying, "What's the tea tonight?" It's 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 it's, it's pen hot nine nine express. Right now, we're talking about Tori Lanez and Rick Ross. Um and Meg and who shot John and who shot Jr. and the final was Bobby Ewing. Ewing. All right, so Ross is being petty. I get all that. Okay, whatever. Um, let me say something though. Ross has a point, and the point is that um maybe it should have been addressed sooner. Um. You took your time to go make an album. Not saying the album not bad or good or whatever the case may be, but you took your time to go make an album, drop it in the midst of all this, and it is the shooting of a black woman that we're talking about, whoever shot her, as soon as Megan Thee Stallion, in comparison to the Breonna Taylor thing. Um, I am a fan of doing stuff. I'm the fan when you're doing something for somebody or you're doing something for a cause, it should be done in silence. If people find out about it or you're trying to bring awareness to cause, I get it. 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 But, like, if you really wanted to, I think you should have sold your album, do whatever you had to do, and then say, you know what? Half of this money going to the Breonna Taylor Foundation. Y'all go donate too. Not to make us buy more albums because you're still getting half the money. Um, with that being said. But, uh, I, I don't like people using that. If you want to do something, if you want to do something, and especially for charity or for a good cause, just do it. Uh, and don't, 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 you don't have to do it after, you know, some people do this for show. Some people go, oh, I got to show you, oh, I give all this to the P, I give this and that. People do this for sure, and that just disgusts me, but, I mean, hey, I, you know, I don't want that to take, but, you know, I think if you're really genuine, it's like, people know when they know. People, things I have done for charity or whatever, people know when they know. I don't have to come and say, oh, guess what I just did? Guess what I just, oh, guess I just donate? No. I mean, if that's the part, I wouldn't don't. I don't. I didn't donate for that. I donated for because this is something that's close to me. So I, I do get Rick Ross' part on that. Uh, but I understand where Tory coming from with this, like Rick Ross. Like, ain't you a correction officer who stole the whole person's name and identity? Like, that, like why are you talking? <laughs> like, I... <laughs> Maybe DJ Cannon or somebody from my, Trina? <laughs> for Bobby Lights? Anybody from Miami could have come and spoke up? Oh, <laughs> like you really just like I don't I don't know. Not <laughs> not Shaden Ross. Not Shaden Ross. Not Shaden Ross. But you know, I don't know. So, but Tory Lanez, listen, okay, no no matter what, and from what I understand, you know, people love their hood people. Don't get it twisted. I learned that lesson. Girl, the people from the hood, they love them. And so, um, now, and the tagging all the businesses, Ross, like, uh, I mean, okay, you trolling Tory, and of course, if, you, if you're if you a good troll, you're going to have something to pr promote. Y'all go ahead and get your bonnets and um, SipCosmetics.net. If you're a good troll, you will have something to promote. Get your bonnets, SipCosmetics.net. Got all the bonnets for y'all. We got your Sip Cosmetics. I have some in here or somewhere. <laughs> um, where is my Sip Cosmetics? Um, yeah, if you're a good troll, I don't know. So you, if, if you're a good troll, you have something to promote. But um, if you're not a good troll, you know, so I get it, whatever. So who y'all, okay, so make sure y'all have a choice. This is the uh, Hot 99 Express. Uh, <laughs> I'm a good troll. So <laughs> they have some pro girl. Y'all go get y'all books too. Um, get y'all kingdom books. Where are my cosmetics, girl? Girl, I was gonna, I was gonna sit right there too, girl. Like right, like <laughs> hold on, stay right there. Coming right back. I got to get this. I was gonna put it right there, like Rose. Okay, which you gonna call me wicked bitch? Ask the bar these little books. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's the mark on you bitches. So like I was saying, Rose, I don't really think Rose 
I don't think Rosie. I don't. <laughs> don't buy no car. Say Ricky. Say Rosie. I don't think you should. I don't think, man, it's not a good time for us to be promoting our. I am kind of naked. No, I'm not all the way naked. Rosie, I don't think. Say homie, I don't think it's right. That you promote your product, I don't think you don't be you don't have to sell no album right now. You don't have to sell no album right now. You don't have to sell no album right now. Nobody go buy that, Rosé. Does Rosé have an album coming out? Does he? Does he? Cancellation is y'all. Um, what y'all gonna do? It's cancellation time. Who going? Is y'all canceling uh, Rick Ross? Oh, y'all cancel tour. You can't cancel both of them. You got to cancel one. Y'all tell me who y'all want to cancel now. It's either Rick Ross got to go or Tory Lanez. Y'all choice to me. I need to plug my phone up. That <laughs> you got to cancel one of them. Tory, I got to vote for Tory. Tory, Tory, you look like you about to be out here. Oh, Tory, about to get you going. Ooh, there's no Rick Rosses. Somebody said, okay, fine. If somebody voted for Rick Ross. I didn't think I was going to do that. I got to find a way to hook this up so I can sit up. All right, let's see if I can do this. Tory, 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 Tory. Noah Rose just I'm still on Wednesday. <laughs> You're thinking Philippe? I'm thinking Wingstop. Can't cancel both of them. Rick Ross went out of mind his businesses. Dick Rick, Dick Ross, cancel Tory, 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 Tory. Back to Canada, you go. Tory Lanez, Tip Nation has spoken. You're canceled. You're canceled. All right, let's see what else we can talk about. I don't have no topic, so we're just going to do this. Um, We're going to just do this. We're going to do this. Uh, We're just doing it. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. So uh, let's see what else, what else is going on. I didn't know who was married. Um, in other news, um, one of my favorite websites, shout out to them. A lot of people say, I, I'm just steal people's stories, but I just, I talk about what's going on. Uncle Luke getting divorced. Uncle Luke's wife filed for divorce in a 12-year marriage, according to our friends over at the Jasmine brand. I'm giving the props where it's due. Huh? Shout out to Uncle Luke. That's who should have said something for Miami. I'm gonna go sit down, Tony. Now I like you, girl. But you're not gonna win against none of them. Alright, so, okay, this too, y'all. Hold up. We ain't canceling Uncle Luke. Stop it. I love Uncle Luke. What about Cardi being offset? What about him? What they what they going through? Got something new with them? I ain't seen nothing on the blog. I ain't seen nothing on the headlines. Cardi, we got something else going on? What's she trending for now? Girl, you don't feel fine. What y'all talking about? She trending for something? I didn't know. She should have for something else? I don't see her trying for nothing. No. There's nothing on Cardi B offset. I don't see it. Alright, so. Tony Braxton says she could only do a versus against Mariah Carey or Mary J. Blige. Alright, so y'all talking about. Okay, so listen. I'm sorry. I guess some of y'all don't do the hot nine nine. And the hot nine nine, we talk about real celebrities. So asking me about stupid is not gonna work because she's not a real celebrity. She doesn't even know how to be a real celebrity. And of course, the live video was trash. And of course, she's not a real celebrity. That's just trifling. Ain't no happy. But I'm not gonna make. And I, so I think she did that just so I could talk about it. But let me say something. If it was so good, it would went viral. Uh, the only thing that I saw in the video was that. I don't even know if... So, the detox obviously not working. She must have did that before she had the surgery. Um, the detox obviously not working. She looked it like a whale. Just go ahead and read it. This is all you're going to get is this because they're not celebrities. So, go, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know. The live video, it was just trash. I'm sorry, la 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 In one part of the video, sister, your pussy looked it long, 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 long. I thought you had a penis for a minute, but it must just be a long clip. That's cool, but you know, I guess the skinny girls have them long clips. I don't know. I can't really comment on that, but it was not cute to me. But... It's no tea. I don't have no shade against her, but it just she did look taken. She had a long pussy. I'm just saying, it was just kind of looked it very long to me, like very very long. 
and the other person is just looked at like a big wheel sitting up there. It was like, the girl, it's like, uh, girl, you really, no shade, no shade with the other girl. She really like, like, she really, if you take me and turn me upside down, that's what you have. She looked just like me upside down. I swear to God, and it's scary. And so, just nothing about it. Everything was trash to me. The whole thing, the concept, stuff, you should have called Tokyo and still write me a verse. Um, Throw some New Orleans element up into it. I know you're trying to be funny, but nobody buying that shit. You're spending money on bullshit. Nobody wants it. It is what it is. You could be all up in these places, but guess what? Everybody I talked to said shit burn. It is what it is. Next subject. We're not talking about that. Okay? This, that was a good enough read for y'all. I'm glad y'all had that. Don't ask me about them. If you ask me, so listen. I'm just saying, you know, from his point, if you ask me, I'm not going to make it go viral. I said what I said. I said what I thought about it. That was it. If you ask me something about that, I'm going to block you. I don't care if you should have been up in here. If I see somebody, if you come in there tomorrow and didn't come get this today, you should have went to YouTube because I'm blocking you. I do not want to talk about it. I said what I said about it. That's it. It's never going to be talked about again. It's never going to be discussed. I want all of them sites out of my head. All of them sites, I want them out of my head right now. I want them gone. I do want them gone. So please do not remind me of that. I'm, I, I saw it. I was disgusted from the first minute to the last minute. There was nothing in there I liked it. It was not cute. It was trash, just like the drops. Next subject. I don't know about Super and them. I don't care right now. They are on Monday. Today is Friday. We are talk The only reason I'm doing the high 99 over here is because I don't have my stuff to do on YouTube. I do not care what they got going on. I made a little funny post. There was not no shade. There was just a little hee 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 about what was going on. We talk about real celebrities at 9 o'clock. We're not talking about these fake ass celebrities that don't even know how to be celebrities. Okay? Got it. Any other questions? Any other questions? Right now, ask them now before we go on. Do not ask me about them. We're not talking about them. We're not going to talk about them. We, they're not celebrities. They do not count as celebrities. The celebrities we talk about at the high 99. Anything else? Anything else? Anybody? It's just time to talk. I do not want to talk about them. Everything was trash. What else? I got it. All right. All right. So don't. Okay. Yeah, when I'm not talking about them, I when I am not talking about them, oh, shake it, what you think about them? And when I do tell y'all what I think about them, I'm obsessed. I'm literally sick of that. Like, for real. For real. Like, y'all could excavate y'all stuff from the building. I'm not talking. I'm still talking. He's working out. Do you want to exit stage left? Don't be going to say my real name, Samantha James, too. I don't know who you are. My name is Shaky. Thank you. As if. All right, next up. As we was talking about celebrities. Tori Baxter said she should, could only do a versus against Mariah Carey or Mary J. Blige. Girl, what? Not Tony Rest. I know Mary J. Dykin. I know Mariah Carey is not the real MC I am. But sister, stay in your lane. I don't think you could touch either one of them two. I think Tamar, <laughs> you can't touch Tamar to be honest with you. As of late anyway. I mean, Tony Braxton, you have had some big old hits. Unbreak My Heart was it's just everything. I swear to God. But outside of that, sister, everything else was kind of lackluster. I mean, you know, Seven Whole Days was nice. Another Say Love song was nice. The song you did with Dre was nice. Uh, just be a man about it was cute. Um, I'm talking about your mega hit sister. I'm not sure you really have enough to be talking about Miss Mariah Carey or Miss Motherfucking Mary J. Blige, my baby. My baby. I'm talking about hits, baby. You can talk about albums all you want. I'm talking about hits. Miss Tony Braxton got maybe a handful. Miss Tony Braxton, and no shade to her, she has a lot. She has, a, she has hits. Don't get it twisted. She's still a diva in her own right. But the likes of Miss Mary J or Miss Mariah Carey, my baby. I wouldn't even... Tony, I, you know, I love you. I like Tony Braxton. I love Tony Braxton. I like Tony Braxton. I've been, I have been a, a Tony Braxton girl from a long time ago. You guys, my sister Tiff. But... When you talk about hits, so verses is like you're doing hit for hit, right? You're doing hit song for hit song. That's what I thought the verses was about. 
If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. But that's what I thought it was about. Miss Tony Braxton, you ain't got that many hits. You got some good songs. You got some hits. But you know, your biggest hit was Unbreak My Heart. Let me see. You ain't, So you can't, like Miss Mariah Carey gonna give you that in the album, though. She's really gonna do that. To you. <laughs> she's gonna get, she's, she got one song that she could just play over. Listen, I'm about to say something. Miss motherfuckers, Miss Tony Braxton girl. I like you. But Mariah, if I was Mariah, this is this how I say, oh, I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. I'll do it. I'll do it with you. Let's do it. And Tony comes through with all them songs. But if I was Mariah, I would air her out by playing We Love We Belong Together over and over again. That, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'm mistaken. I would just play We Belong Together over and over again. Because this is, first of all, We Belong Together is a song you can really listen to a lot, like, over and over again. Like, you never gonna get tired of that song. When you, listen, if they can play We Belong Together, I bet you this, I've seen it happen. Mariah had an entire album in them once, exactly. And that was before We Belong Together. Like, so, come on, we're not talking to you. I'm not even talking to you, that's why. Always Be My Baby? Come on. Now, Mariah and Tony? I said Mariah and Mary Jane? That might be a cute one. But Tony, sister, I would literally sit down. If I was Mariah Carey, I would air you out. Because we belong together. They're going to... Listen, I don't care where you at. I don't care what you're doing. If you're flipping a radio station, you could be in a store. You could be anywhere you want. And that song came out, what, 2000 and, um, maybe 8? 2004 or something? 5, maybe? 2005? So that's 15 years ago. And guess what? If that do 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 once that start coming on, sister, you're gonna stop and you're gonna sing that song. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're at. You're gonna sing that song. You're not gonna get tired of it. They can play it right now. <laughs> I can play do 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 you hear that? And Miss Mariah Carey, is you gonna be I think it mean it when that there and you gonna and guess what you're gonna also do? You're gonna hit try to hit that high note at the end. We love the guy of me. When you left, I lost a part of me. Is the you're gonna do that? You're gonna do that. Half of y'all, that's three hundred people in here. One hundred fifty y'all just did that. One hundred fifty y'all just. When you left, I lost a part of me. It's just so hard to believe. If I was Mariah Carey, I said, "Oh yeah, let's do it, Tony," and I just play a song over and over again and just do like this the whole time. We belong together, baby. So, with that being said, Tony, you're going to be trying to play another say love songs, some old days, all this food stuff. Um, let me count how. And Mariah Carey just said, so one day we put on together again. Run it back, DJ. And guess what? <laughs> it's, 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 it's that. It was that. So, listen. When Mar- Ms. Mariah Carey really has one hit that smothers all the rest of her hits. Because no matter what you do, We Been All Together was the biggest song than Unbreak My Heart. So Tony's Braxton's biggest hit is more like um, to Mariah Carey, like, oh, that's my all. That's my equivalent to like what I did with my all. Mariah Carey, she really got hits. Timeless, it always be my baby. Sweet, um, one sweet day. Oh my God, Vision of Love. Mariah Carey and that girl out for this film. For this film. He was a man enough for me was still a bop, but it's not a bop like we belong together, sister. Vision of love, emotions, girl, fantasy girl. Oh, girl, Miss Mariah Carey and you out for dear life, girl. Hero. Tony versus Timor is probably more better. Stay in your lane, sister. Miss Mariah Carey and you out for dear film without question mark. Don't do that to yourself. The only MC that could to deal with Mariah. Is this one? <laughs> no shame. Now, Mary J. Now, Mary J. You don't really have that one song to add on Miss Braxton, but your catalog adds her for filth too. Miss Miss Mary J. Has a hit that will Mary J. Blige was Keisha Cole before Keisha Cole knew what she was doing. Real talk. Miss Mary J. Will come through with some stuff. Mary J. The only person like really. No sound. Mary J got something in her catalog for your grandma, your mama, you, and your daughter. 
she she gonna touch all of us. It's you Mary J got something for four generations in her catalog. The time on my hand since you went away, boy. She got the twenty five eight and uh family affair. That's that's for your daughter and them. They can do a little a bit about to it. So, Miss 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 Miss. So, Grandma like I'm going down. Mama like um. Eleven years after. Mama like that. I like breakthrough. I'll be without you. And a daughter like all that new shit marriage you come with. 25, 8 and all that. Uh, Mr. Wrong. Tony got hits. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying she's. But girl, stay in your lane. I'm staying in your lane. Mary J really could touch four generations and be like, huh, what? What? Stop playing with me. She got something for everybody. My daughter was on tw- Mr. Wrong and 25 8. She was on that. I was on Mary J during like big breakthrough and all that stuff like that. My mom and them was on Mary J when she was on, um, like you know the left that um, what's love got all that stuff like that and all that. Grandma and them, I'm going down. The, <laughs> oh yeah, just fine. yeah. So Mary J touching four generations, Miss Tony Braxton, girl, stay in your lane, girl. Stay in your lane. Just don't do it. So, sweet thing, grandma like that too. So, while I don't think Mary J has the one hit to air out everything Tony Braxton ever did, she do have enough hits to withstand anything Tony Braxton could do. So, Miss Tony Braxton, girl, it's going to be a no for me. All right, who we canceling right here? Are we canceling Tony Braxton for thinking in her, in her mind that she could touch... Miss Mariah Carey or Miss Motherfucking Mary J. Blige, or we're gonna cancel verses for not putting them on a stage together. Tony got history. I'm not taking. I'm not taking. I'm not taking away from Tony. Cancel Tony. <laughs> cancel Tony. Okay, sit next to spoken. Tony Braxton, you're canceled. <laughs> it's just over. Oh, just. Tony for really reaching sister. Oh my god, Tony reached with that one. Let's see what Hollywood on talk about her. Let's see what the biggest story is. Oh, uh, where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Hollywood. Oh, come on. This computer. I'm so used to a computer, but I'm on my laptop. Alright. A black girl playing Yari? Shahidi, I think his name, is playing Tinkerbell in Peter Pan. Reggie Hayes from Girlfriends is battling congestive heart failure and is struggling to find work. Tell me you ain't broke. Tell me you ain't broke. What about Jamie Foxx and Fancy Girl? Him. I think he's gay. Well, I thought he was gay, but I could be wrong. Him. Alright, so him. Yes, I've heard about that. That was, um, I heard about that last year. Wow. Wow. So he said, I started a long running show, but it wasn't Matt LeBlanc or one of the other kids and friends who had doors open for them after the show ended. Pretty much, I was just another guy. Due to not finding work, he said his house, he sold his house that he bought while he was on the show and downsized for a bit and then ended up living in his sister's garage for six years. He said from there, he tried to work many jobs, but due due to his fame, it was a bit of a challenge. I tried being a bouncer for a while and everyone in the club wanted their picture taken with me. Hey, stitch here. I'm six feet two, but everybody knows I'm like a bouncer once you know me. You know I'm a pushover, so that didn't work out. I also tried to be a furniture mover, but I was in my forties, so that lasted a couple of days. My back never could survive it. Oh wow, he's fifty-one. 
He lives with roommates. I know you lying to me. Girl. He ain't get no money from like the reruns and stuff. His name, his, he was William off the show. Girl, somebody could get him a role or somewhere, girl. You got Tracy Ellis Wall well, making all them gazillions, baby. Um, Golden Brooks started some more stuff. I don't know what happened to the little, the little person. What's her name? The little Ray girl. Oh, she didn't do too much. Girl. Um, yeah, it's time to pair pick this man up. He was, he was, he played a good role. It was a good little acting role. Oh, girl, that's sad, girl. Ooh, she's late, girl. You got to invest, baby. That's why I be telling y'all about that Robin Hood, girl. You better get on Robin Hood, girl. Put some money in them, girl. Don't buy the new iPhone this year. Buy the iPhone stock this year. How about that? They just I got five. I, I got five Apple stocks now. Nah. Thank you. Thank you. I started with one. I bought one. It split to four. And then when they had a um a dividend, I reinvested and bought another one at a hundred. So yeah. Y'all better get you. <laughs> Baby, y'all better go to the roots. Almost lost all my hand. Oh, girl. Y'all better invest. The, when they have a new something coming out, invest in a company that's about to come out with it. <laughs> Best advice I can give you. Oh, girl, they got a new Jordans come out. Oh, you, oh yeah, for real? How much some Jordans? 200? You can get three Jordan stocks for that, girl. And they pay your dividends. Or you can invest in futures. Go to the books, David Head and actor from Lucifer. I sure did buy the app stock. I bought it. It split the full. Invest in yourself too. Start your own business. There you go. Say Yanni. I love that. Say Nani. My bad. Girl. Okay, so what Stevie want to talk about, girl? Let me see. seconds, minutes, and hours. Our time here will be measured by how we carefully consider or deliberate our reality. As time is evolving, it seems so much has changed. So much is moving to a different rhythm. The way we work, live, love, meet and greet. Can't you feel we're changing the way we see and hear? Our life in reality. Wait, did Stevie want to just ask us, can't you feel the way we are changing the way we see? I know you understand. Mm. You can feel there's a beat, there's drumming, and it's off. Even if you're not a musician, you can hear when the music is not right. Can you tell that life is out of tune? Do you feel our reality is off? Beat. We're out of sync. Listening to spirits that conflict against the truth. We know to be true. Truth. Mail in voting is and has always been safe. The current president uses the system. Truth. Black and brown people want safety just like everybody else. Truth. You better believe people have come to our communities, co-opted our cause, incited violence. The community knows it even if you don't and won't report it. Truth. No amount of money has ever brought a life back. Ask yourself, why so long for Brianna Taylor? Why would we accept anyone call 
a fallen soldier anything less than the ultimate hero? Why can't we hear love, the greater truth, as opposed to being consumed and bombarded by... <laughs> Why y'all give us a theory when the girl? Where is our love for each other? Where is our love for our country? Where is the love that will make us do what is right? Where is that, Stephen? Conscious people. You can't No see? matter your color, your political persuasion, religion, or geography. You know the truth. You know the truth. You're not like those that go deaf when they don't want to hear. Or become blind when they choose not to see. You will do something about it. Because we can't take the chance that someone else will do what we have to do. We can't put it in the hands of fate. You say you're sick and tired of us protesting. I say not tired enough to make a change. Okay. You say just you hold on. I say no way because we can't put it in the hands of fate. You say you believe that all lives matter. <laughs> I say I don't believe the fuck you do. Wait, what? You say wait, 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 I know Steve ain't just cursed like that. Wait a minute. Wait, I know, I know you did. I know that's not what you said, girl. I, I thought I was tripping. I'm listening to it. That all lives matter. <laughs> I say I don't believe the fuck you do. <laughs> you say... <laughs> that's why. Okay, Steve, you cancel right now. Who you had me? Who you had me? You had me? Sister, you had me, Steve? Stevie Wonder, you had me. I was on your side. I was about to go in. I was about to say, baby, y'all got to listen to people. Like, Come on, Stevie. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. You had me up until that part right there. And then you had a, it was a soft fuck. If you gonna say fuck, <laughs> if you gotta say fuck, bitch, you better say fuck, bitch. You supposed to be like, I don't believe the fuck you do. That see, a TV you even had a curse. You was supposed to hit him with a hard fuck. That was a little That was a little soft. I don't believe the fuck. You do. Alright, so Steve going in. Steve okay, so okay, now all things aside, Steve, as we know, is blind. He's old. He actually looks good for his age. Black don't crack y'all trip. Y'all know man talking about he looks old and unhealthy. I mean he's old. As you get older, it's what happens. But he he still looks like he has all his functionality. And I wouldn't doubt that he could get on a piano board and make a hit right now. I don't doubt that. Um, but I will say that um, that um, he got some perks. You know, we not like, what's going on in this world? What is happening? Everything the, the batters ain't safe, and uh, oh, girl, this is. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get y'all, y'all gotta get it together. Y'all gotta get it together. What else we got here? What's going on right here? Oh no. Oh. Well, I guess she told you. All right. Yeah, you gotta say that. That, that fuck gotta come out harder. We talking about some serious stuff here, Steve. You supposed to say, I don't be the fuck y'all bitches do. Cancel it, Stevie. Oh no. All right. So look, this is another little something that came across my arm. Um, Kim Kardashian from our friends at the Shiro. Okay, so everybody was talking about how Fifty Cent and Exhibit were talking about um, 
all weighed in on the Dr. Dre Nicole Young divorce. And so uh, they were basically tripping. So 50 Cent posts. These bitches be crazy. How do you even ask for two million a month? I agree. <laughs> two million a month is a lot. Uh huh. But hey, you know whatever, whatever. So, um, according to the shade room, ooh, child. Now, all Exhibit really said in the post was what the fuck. But. <laughs> so, Dr. Dre's daughter, and his, his her parents, this divorce, are saying this. She said, she says, I thought this is slang. Wow. Alvin, not Exhibit, Alvin. After everything my parents have done for you and your family, this is how you respond to a picture of my parents and I? And a quote calling my mom a bitch? Fuck you. Oh, girl, wait a minute. So she posts, The blatant misogyny and disrespect by ignorant men that is being shown is absolutely fucking disgusting and vile. Calling my mother, my dad's wife, a bitch is unforgivable. You have no respect for me or my siblings. And this is extremely evident, 50. Your marketing schemes are as low life and disgusting as you are. Using the photo of my parents and I solely to gain attention for yourself exemplifies a lot of things wrong with the world right now. You disgust me, and I speak for women of my generation as well. You, you are furthering the problems. Everyone already knows that you're a dick, but you just proved it yourself. Oh my God. She actually aired him out slick side, and I love the big word use. Haha, <laughs> coming from an ugly, washed up early 2000s rapper who filed for bankruptcy and is only envious of my family's wealth and lifestyle. Have fun spending the rest of your savings on steroids. Fuck you. Whew. Chilly. Oh, why, girl? Oh, why? So, okay. <laughs> Fifth and good trouble. So, um. <laughs> I can't. So, girl, 50, don't respond. Let this one slide. Chalk this one up. That's all you got to do, 50. Chalk this one up. You're a good troll. A good troll also knows when to just shut the fuck up, too. Just shut up. And so, I think you should just, 50. <laughs> yes, this is great. That was a good, nasty, old, educated read. Now, sis, now, 50, <laughs> 50, a good troll, uh, let that one slide. He's actually one of my favorite trolls, okay? 50, a good troll will just put up their products and let it roll. A good troll will just say, you know what, Power of Season Book 2, whatever it is. Power View Book 3 or whatever <laughs> All Stars New album coming out And let that one ride Just let that one ride If 50 come back he wrong for that So um Hey we'll see <laughs> Yeah if I was 50 I'd just be like You know what this this this, this, this is not the one Like I, I could tell like <laughs> Listen 50 all, Listen I think 50 and, and, and Root, no matter what happened, 50 could always go back to Ja Rule and bang. What is the T-Hills for? Beautiful chocolate skin. <laughs> Available at SipCosmetics.net. Only $24.95 for simple ingredients delivered right to your door. And we are in stock and ready to ship. <laughs> like, all you have to do is just go post up, start talking, change the narrative, let's talk about power, let's talk about something. Put your products on the screen while you're talking. That's what a good troll would do. <laughs> Let her have that one. Let her have that one, 50. I don't want 50 to respond to this. 50, if you do, we're going to cancel you automatically. Let it go. 
this woman is, is she is a she's a woman now, but um, also too, I'm I'm sure you know after, you know she doesn't want to see her parents divorce. She doesn't want to see. You know, she don't want to see that. She don't want to go through that. And then being in such a celebrity parents and stuff like that, and the two million dollars, and people talk about it. And coming from somebody like 50, and I, I get what she's saying. Like, if you want to talk about it, go ahead and talk about it. But, you know, calling my mom a bitch and all that stuff, you don't know her. And we don't. We don't. Man, power, I can't really get into the show. 50 is day cancer, for real. What else we got going on in this people's internet? He actually did respond to it. Actually, guess what Fitz just did, y'all? He just responded. <laughs> so it did. Fitz, the shade room just posted this right when we was going on live for this. So, um, guess what he did? <laughs> <laughs> 50 is not a good troll He's the great troll And let me tell you why I know 50 is a great troll Because I just told you what a good troll would do Well guess what 50 does Look what 50 does <laughs> 50 says Dr. Dre's daughter just told me shut the fuck up LOL Stars Brands Cognac <laughs> Lachey Le- Le- Mendo Like I'm gonna just shut up and pr- promote promote my products. That's 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 what a, that's what a good troll would do. <laughs> All right, see you now, see you, see you, Yanni. Shut up and put it up there. That's what I do. Smart, smart move, fifty. He just. <laughs> All right, what else we got? <laughs> Let's see. Well, that seems to be it's it's, it's an hour. It's been an hour. Uh, let's see what else we got. Can we talk about right quick? The last little story. Mm, we talked about Jamie Foxx event. Liz on the cover of Vogue. Y'all, y'all saw that? Cute. Big girl magic. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And she look actually fierce. Did y'all see something? It's on my page. It's actually kind of cute. Yeah, I'll probably be here most of the weekend. I got nothing to do. I was bored in the house, then I was in the house bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm about sure Okay. Okay, Miss Lizzie, bitch. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. I like it. I like it. Congratulations to um Congratulations to Bow Wow Baby came out. What else? Don't forget the kingdom is available on uh Amazon. I guess that's it. I don't know. <laughs> she gets scared of sanctified. She does look good. She really look good. Vogue is a big magazine too. Good, good, good. They don't let us they don't let us on that too too much, girl. <laughs> so girl. Yeah. Not the Nike first. Girl, baby. Huh? The Nike first. Alright, so you put your paper on the yeah. Who is this big mom? The girl that when is um the girl? The girl that he tried to beat up. Well she's super cool. Oh, that's good. Congratulations. That's good. I don't hate nobody. I hate on nobody. Do, do your thing. 
I'm gonna still say my, I'm gonna still say the fuck I wanna say. They're all for the, they're all for the white folks. Vogue is certainly for the white folks. Zena, go ask her sister. That's the, hold up, hold up, hold up. Zena, sister, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got you. live, sister. <sighs> Comes alive, my baby. Comes alive. Or oh, it's not her, it's the, the B-I-G model. I apologize. I thought it was the girl. What she talking about? She was pregnant one time? Comes alive. You can block your face. I ain't tripping. I just, I just got to know something. Come on, Zena. Zena, come on. Come on, sister. I, I just need to understand something. I, I just need to understand why you felt that you need to come up in my life, hot night and night, and post that somebody else who I don't like, and you have to know I don't like, and what they talk about on somebody I do like. I need to know that. I need to know why you do that. I need to know. What in your mind told you, hey, Shaking these shaking the sippers need to know this. We don't like that person. We don't talk about to that person. We don't talk about that person. We don't do none of that. That person is of no consequence over there. I'm trying to figure out why on earth do the sippers need to know why she talked about somebody. Why are you not asking her? You come on my life to ask me what somebody else doing that I don't like. Why is this? Why? I don't know. You ask them. Go on their live and ask them why they talk about somebody. She's talking about Jaguar Wright, the singer. Oh, come on back, Zena. Girl, hold on. I owe you an apology. Hold on, sister. Hold on. My bad. Babe, Zena, sister, accept my so humblest apologies. I didn't block her. I didn't block her. I'm so sorry, sister. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the woman that's talking about Mary J. I know what you're talking about. I just thought it was on. It's on site. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You don't. Owe, you don't owe me an apology. I owe you an apology. My mind went to that bitch because I want. You know why my mind went to that bitch? I really was talking about her today. I really was. Uh. <laughs> Um, so, so, okay, we were, so I was talking with some, some of the people that, so they're doing a panel show. I'm trying to see how much I can take out without getting in trouble. There's a panel show coming out on, um, all right. So y'all know that there's a lot of, um, passengers, y'all. So there's a lot of, a lot of networks now, like with Zeus and Revolt. And so they're looking for different types of content. And so a lot of people, a lot of your favorite people probably are going to get some opportunity. Um, and I just want to be one of them. But anyway, long story short, um, uh, but when you cast shows like that, you have to go through auditions. And it's, 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 it's a process. It's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not like they just say, oh, this is what it is. It's, it's the process. It's not that. You know, you, you have to, Audition, you have to have your stuff together, your EPK and stuff like that. I have an agency that I work with for that, 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 that you know, puts my stuff out to, um, they're not PR, they're just like a talent agency. They have me in their, um, I don't know what they call it, roster. And so, uh, so that, it's not a solicitation, but if people are looking for certain things, they can recommend you for, and they send you on auditions. Um, but I also have, what I need is a manager. I need a manager. So Zena, I'm, I'm apologizing and explaining to you them. Uh, this is story time now. The High 99 is over. The Express, High 99 Express is over. But um, this is just me explaining to you. So I'm going to tell you why I'm so sorry about that. Because I did. And so I'm going to tell you why I was talking about her today. Oh, well, girl, come on, goodbye, sister. So, um, so,
so all right, so remember they're they're doing a panel show. Uh Corona stopped it out of but it also got people to thinking. So a lot of people are wanting to start and doing stuff. So a lot of stuff is about to come out. Um but I, I'm also and I'm a person about, you know, just whatever. You send me on the I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do whatever it is. And I, you know what? That's a, a that a panel show is definitely something that is a dream come true for me because that is exactly it, it, it's to me like a, so. In case you don't know what a panel show is, um, a panel show is like the view. It's a panel. Uh, the talk, the real, all those little panel shows. All of the are panel. It's a panel. And so uh, it's people with you know different opinions and different views and stuff. But have an opinion. I have a view on stuff. And um, even I would love to do whatever that like whatever comes whatever opportunity comes. I'm taking advantage of it. But that to me is exactly the kind of thing that's up my sleeve. Like, okay, I like reality TV, but my life is boring, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. So re reality TV, you have to have something going on. I ain't gonna lie. So reality TV, I don't know. But um, a panel show is right up my alley. So what are my flaws, baby? So Daniel with you. What's my flaws, love? <laughs> What's my flaws? <laughs> that cap on your head. My my cap is a flaw. Okay, Don't so you know what's a flaw? Well, let me see. So what's a flaw? Not being able if it's a talk. <laughs> see, this, this this big fat nasty whatever you say, sister sitting on the top of the screen, and you who are so ashamed of your own self. It's scared to even face a big fat sister on the computer. Show That's, a flaw, real sister. That's a flaw. That's a flaw. That's a flaw, sister. When you came to face me and you and you came to face somebody <laughs> who you say they laughing at you. No, sister. Trust me, they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you because you came to face me. <laughs> you a joke. I, yeah, and you can't face a joke. You scared of a joke. You scared of me, sister. You really want to beat me. You sitting here talking about people. Yeah, I am. What you doing? Looking at me talk about people. Oh, girl, bye. Ain't nobody follow you. Good day. <laughs> Nigga. So, anyway. Yeah, that's what that was. All right. So. The panel show, I swear to God. So the panel show, the audition is in Los Angeles, right? So I'm going to have to go to Los Angeles to audition. Um, but watch this. So I was talking about, so this is why I was automatically thinking you talk about Jaguar. And so, um, Fagwar, as we call him over here. But it was like, so I'm going to Los Angeles, and it was like this, that, and the other. I was like, bitch, and I was talking to um, my sister, and I'm like, bitch, what if I run across, what if I'm in Los Angeles? Like, like I plan on going out there. I want to go talk to George. I want to go talk to Sunkey Angel. I try to kill birds once in a I like to talk to people that I like that's in Los Angeles. So when I'm out there, so I was like, okay, I can't wait to connect with them and go see them. But I was like, bitch, what if I run across Fagwall while I'm out there? All right, so when is whenever they set up the auditions? Now, the auditions are being set up. Um, they're working on it now because of COVID. It's all kind of stuff. Yep. So uh it's it's gonna be tea. It is definitely gonna be tea. Hold on. <laughs> it was like bitch, what you gonna do is you see but you in LA, right? And everybody's gonna know you're in LA. Like it's not gonna be a little secret. It's like I'm gonna I'm not gonna go in a I'm not going in a city. I'm not going in the city and duck out. <laughs> bitch, I'm going bitch. Last time I was in LA, bitch. So, uh, we, we, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so it's like, bitch, what did you see? Thank you. Well, you know, I'm going to say and say it's key. He's originally from. I want to meet. I want to meet both of y'all. I'll be back at LA Sunday. Um, I don't, okay, cool. It looked like you eat McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack. I do. I do McDonald's shaky. I do. I eat McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, I do. 
I too. I want some McDonald's right now. Anybody got something? Yes, I do. I eat McDonald's for breakfast and for dinner. Thank you so much, sister. The bond is available at sucosmetics.net. Y'all get your bond right now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's somebody that literally they bored with their life and they so. This is a bad people. All right. What's going on, Central Berry Lifestyle Sister? Did you DM me your address, my baby? I'm coming to LA too. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I won't. Um, what do I want to say? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so that's why I was thinking Jaguar. So Zeta, I owe you an apology, sister. I sincerely apologize. Now. The question was, why was Jaguar talking about Mary Jane? And that is, you know, why she was doing it. Um, why she was doing that, I don't know. Who do I fuck with? Now, Millie, oh, man. Who is Jaguar right now? Go to the VIP. You are approved for. Oh, so your name on the list and you're not even going to go? This is this is Jay-Z. I know it's Jay-Z and he'll be Jay-Z tomorrow. But I'm sick today. I ain't going. So I was I was a traitor because I didn't get them in uh, uh, to the to the, to the the special VIP. And this nigga been mad at me ever since and I don't get no fuck. It ain't my fault he put my name on the list. I wasn't a traitor. I was just the shit. Sorry you couldn't get into the after party and the big after party and then Jay didn't put you in there. Then when they did Radio City Music Hall, Jay, they said Jay asked for me and Amir said, oh, we can't find her. We don't know where she is. And then the stylist said, wait a minute, I can call Jackie. Okay. That's the one who said that Common stuck his jay in up one morning. Okay. Okay. I knew I knew. I talked to the girl that she told that to me about. I don't know if I believe her. Somebody said she on drugs. I don't know if I believe her. And I don't I don't know. I'm not saying she lying. I don't know. Uh, the bisexual part. If Mary by, it, it would explain a lot to me, but at the same time, child, you know. I'm going to see if I get an interview. Y'all. I, th- I, I don't know. I don't know. I actually, I don't know. I'm kind of like in the middle right now. I'm kind of like, you know, I like Jaguar, right? But 
I don't know how I'm not as a fan as a song, but I mean, you know, as a person. She's by too. Girl, how you gonna eat comedy up there, girl? I don't care. He can wake me up. Girl, he all right. She don't like gay man. Oh. She don't like gay men, but that might be hard. I like celebrities that like gay people. She don't like gay men. She went to her like she was something in the zoo. They didn't clap for Mary. They did not clap for Mary. At all. And you need to get over yourself, too. That's why you paying Ken do all that money. See, that's, that's, that's your motherfucking problem, bitch. Karma. You ain't nothing but a fucking hood rat who sat there and is trying to get in the way of people who were greater than you. When my album came out, she told the CEO of our company that that little cross-eyed fucker, she told him, it, and this was at the MTV Unplugged Studios. She had the dressing room next to mine. She was so scared when she came in because, see, when we had rehearsal, she went first, you know, because she the queen. I came later. She didn't hear me at rehearsal. See, she didn't hear what I was coming in to do. So when she came in to MTV Studios... We were doing the run of show, and I had to perform before her in the run of show. She was so fucking nervous, her and Latoya, sitting there nervous. I go into my dressing room, she's sitting there doing scales, and Latoya, it's not fair. Why did you put this girl on the show? We're, we're not here to be overshadowed. Mary said after the show, she called the CEO and said, if you promote that bitch's album, I'm leaving NCA. Do you know, you want to know what my I'm national sorry. radio budget I'm was sorry. for denials, delusions, and decisions? $3,500. So if you heard songs being played, it was because jocks loved my shit. It wasn't because they got paid to do it. Yeah, that's pennies. And they nobody got no money for that. $3,500? You, you can't promote a fucking neighborhood with $3,500, let alone a country. That's a fact. Guess what else? Guess what else? MTV, because I have performed the what is at the end of Unplugged. Jay was standing right next to me. If you ever see the picture, I'm sitting in the stool because I was five months pregnant. I'm sitting in the stool. I'm performing. Jay standing next to me with his arm around me. I was singing the what is. He said, Jay, sing everybody a song. They love you so much. MTV called and was like, yo, we tested this shit. Because they weren't supposed to be releasing um, Unplugged until January. They released it in December because the feedback that they got was so hot. They was like, this got to go out now. Then they said, if y'all want, since Jaguar's album is coming out right after this, we'll take the footage and we'll run it as a video. Me and Jay-Z standing in frame mm -hmm. with me singing the what is and the, and the studio audience going wild. They had it. They, they were ready to run it. They waited two weeks. And guess what the CEO of my company told them? Well, you know, we don't have that kind of budget. All Leo Cohen asked for was $150,000. The, video, the videos that I did, other than that, cost $300,000. They said, all we want, Leo Cohen said, give me $150,000 and we'll give clearance and MTV can run with the video. And, 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 and Steve... What was his name? I, I, I just call him Cross-Eyed Bastard. I can't remember. He used to work for RBM before he dumb lucked his way into um, MCA as the, the head of MCA. Okay, so and that woman MCA, uh, is Jaguar right. And so she says that Mary J. Blige used her influence to stunt her career, and that's why she's going off on Mary J. Blige. She said that they were part of the same label, which is MCA Records, and Mary J. told them if you promote our album, I'm going to leave MCA. And so they gave her $3,500 to promote our album. Her name is Jaguar Wright. <laughs> I don't know. But you never let about it. So why? I'm trying, I'm trying to hear one of our songs. She's not giving me. She's not. 
that's not Mary J. That's not your. She's not your competition. Sister. If you did do that to that girl, that's wrong. But she's not your competition. Sister. And thirty-five hundred in those days, like you needed money for more albums. She said the dude MTV wants a bit put an album out, but it had been um one hundred fifty racks. What Tasha can't talk about that.
Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Wait a minute. Yeah. let them lips soak it up. That's what you got. What you got? Somebody help me. Like, why is it not letting me okay. see this? They got the work. Now. How do I do so that? So I heard the album, and I'm glad that he came out to tell his side without damaging his brand oh. even more. Because oh, I so told you, there was a scuffle. The gun went off. If Megan got shot, she wouldn't have had yes. bullet fragments. Okay. She wouldn't have been in urgent care. How do I send? How do y'all? Can somebody help me? Like literally, I want to send like. It's taped up. Some soup. I want to. Now she got jealous. That's just you know you screwing a dude. You didn't know he was screwing your best friend. I was saying Kylie botched. Matter of fact, you was even scared to tell your best friend that you was screwing him. She was under the impression that y'all was friends. Okay, and then he in the pool playing both of y'all for this white bitch. Okay. Literally. Well, she ain't white. Anyway. She's not white. I mean, she claims she y'all, but no, is she white? She white. Okay. And he playing both of y'all. And you get in the car, you find, wait a minute, what's up? Both of y'all talking about what's up? And there's a Also, you can't send a super chat. The gun say. goes off, but he did not intentionally, nor did he aim a gun at this girl in no kind of way. She was just damn embarrassed, okay? That she would fuck a midget, okay? I like midget. Listen, and he played her. And then to find out he's sleeping with your best friend too because you was too embarrassed to tell anybody y'all was screwing because you knew that it would damage, damage your brand and that's the reason why she didn't, she didn't carry her ass down to the police station. Okay? She didn't grab a she didn't grab a pocketbook. You know they grabbed the pocketbooks. Cause I would have been down that bitch with my wine. Okay? And, and, and tell somebody at urgent, listen, uh, he shot me. She ain't even know no damn bullets was in her foot. And then like he said, she got her ass back in that car because if I got shot, what you gonna do if you got shot? What would you do if you got shot? You knew a gun was aimed at you, would you get back in the car? And go to urgent care, get the bullets out, and not switch. She only got mad when she <laughs> found out how much she got played when she thought she was doing the play. That's what it was. Take it, ain't she? Mm -hmm. And I don't care, y'all, about protect black women. When this bitch protects herself, that's when I'll protect you, okay? That's when I'll protect you. I don't know what to protect. What am I protecting? Am I protecting your self esteem, your ego? Because it's her ego at, at, at this point. I mean, Tori had offered to pay her off. She didn't want to take that. And for her trying to take his career like that, all because she got jealous, karma's a bitch. That's all I'm saying. Now, she don't get a son with the biggest witch besides Beyonce in this land. Cardi. Label say the bitch was drinking goat's blood. I said, what the hell? Goat's blood? Yeah. She told me to my face. All right, so look. She so how about I got it over? I'm about to go to y'all like this. I'm going to go see y'all on YouTube. I'm trying to do it. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I love y'all so much. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. I'll come bring y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I love y'all so much. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today. I'm about to go see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for today.